Yo, what's going on everyone? I'm currently back home in California for vacation and uh, it took me a while to edit this video because I was on vacation, but here I am. I was in a laser beam Fortnite video and I'm going to talk about everything from what happened during the events to uh, how I did to what I was thinking. Um, and at the time, I was still in New York, but my roommate was studying for a big exam the next day, so I wasn't talking at all. So you'll have this commentary the entire time, but hopefully it's still just as fun and hopefully you'll still enjoy it. If you have not watched the original video yet, make sure to do so. It is the first link in the description, and yeah, this video is going to spoil a lot of that. So make sure you watch that first and then come back here and I'll talk about everything. Fair warning, that video is not family friendly and has swearing, so watch out your own discretion. Um, we're going to skip the first event for now. And and we're gonna go to the last four. I'm gonna briefly talk about those four and then I'll talk a lot about the first one because the first one was very interesting, so stay tuned for that. But here we go. Last Spider-Man to stop swinging. Win $2,500! Did I forget to mention that each challenge was for $2,500? <laughs> yeah, the stakes were high. Damn, multiverse is getting crazy. We got 50 Spider-Man. Oh, hey. There's me. If you ever see a marshmallow in any of the challenges, that was me. Here's proof if you need it. Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Oh my <laughs> and then he had to swing around the structure for a couple of minutes. But let me tell you, even this was very difficult for me because if you look at the top left, I am on more than 200 ping because I was in New York. The servers are in Australia. It was bad. <laughs> Let me tell you, it is very difficult trying to time everything. But I was able to make it through this first round, and then we got to the next phase where... Everyone go dead center of the new zone. See those big trees? Be swinging on one of those. And then I started swinging over. But once again, it is very difficult to swing on ping. And I let go a little too early, and... Oh god! <laughs> And from there, I just left the game because that's what they wanted us to do. And I was not able to spectate the rest of the round, so I can't really talk much more about it. But if you look at the laser beam video, you'll see who won and exactly what happened in the end. For this challenge, the first player to die to Dwayne The Rock Johnson is going to win. I'll be honest, not a whole lot I can say about this challenge. The foundation has a lot of different spawn locations, and you kind of just had to get lucky in finding him and also landing as quickly as possible. So my only goal was to land as quickly as possible at one possible spawn location that I knew for sure. Unfortunately, he wasn't there and someone else took the win very quickly. But yeah, moving Ooh. on. We are going to have an insane map-wide scavenger hunt. The first person to bring me a golden heavy shotgun wins $2,500. I swear, I was so close to winning this one. I was gliding over to Tilted in hopes of just going down a building and just stumbling upon a golden heavy shotgun when on top of one of the building tops, I saw something golden. I thought, maybe there's a slight chance it's a heavy shotgun. It's probably not, but there's a slight chance, so I may as well go for it. But no, it was the next best thing. It was Nathan Drake's treasure map. That treasure map leads you to a treasure chest that gives you two golden weapons, one of which could be a heavy shotgun, so I thought that would be my best bet. So I grabbed the truck and headed out. I got to the treasure chest, was so excited, I could barely breathe, and when I opened it, I didn't show it in my face, but I was definitely very disappointed. And soon after, ironically, a Nathan Drake skin ended up finding the heavy shotgun and taking the dub there. A hundred players, a hundred cars. The last person in their vehicle wins $2,500. Oh boy, time to talk about this one. I ended up gliding to a distant gas station that I thought no one would even know about and think about going to because I wanted to at least get a car. Turns out a few people knew about it. I settled on a pickup truck because one, it has the most health out of all the vehicles available. Two, it's the most agile, especially when you put some uh, big wheels on it. For reference, my biggest concerns were one, running out of gas because otherwise you couldn't get to the next zone, and two, not flipping over because if you flip over, you're out of your vehicle, and when you get out of your vehicle, you are out of the challenge and you have to leave the game. Things were going pretty smoothly. I mean, I was able to get from zone to zone really smoothly, but at one point... Oh, here comes our dummy. And you're gonna figure out why I'm calling this person dummy in a minute. At this point in the match, I was switching windows to make sure that I was still recording, and to do so, you press the Alt button and then the Tab button on PCs. However, my Switch seat button it happens to be Alt, so I ended up switching to the passenger seat. 
Now, Dummy here saw this as an opportunity and hopped into the vehicle. And man, do I regret changing seats. Why? Because this person decided to drive around like a crazy person, wasting all of the gas, unnecessarily driving in the water. And by the way, if we end up sinking to the bottom, which was very likely, we would have been kicked out of the out of the car and we would have been out of the challenge. This person was just wasting gas, was just driving around unnecessarily, and yeah, that was really getting on my nerves. A few minutes later, for some reason, the dummy decided to change seats, and I took advantage of that and finally took back the driver's seat, but I really didn't want this person in my vehicle, so what did I do? I drove them into the storm. They had no chance of switching seats to get out of the storm. They had to jump out, and at that point, they were definitely out of the challenge. He ended up switching to a different car, but that's none of my business. If he won, he would have been caught anyway. As the circle got smaller and smaller, oh, why well, hello there, laser beam. It got way more congested and definitely got a little tougher to find a spot within the circle, along with all the other cars and trucks. Unfortunately, as things were getting too congested, one car after another started blowing up. My car ended up blowing up, and I just died to the storm because I knew at that point I was home. <laughs> and now for the one challenge you've all been waiting for. We have destroyed the Daily Bugle and filled it with laser beam fans. The last person to leave this circle wins $2,500. Our goal was simple. Dodge all of their cars, do not die to their cars, and do not fall into the water or outside of the water, because if you do, you're already out of the challenge. I started out by doing my part to help take down the entire Daily Bugle, while also keeping in mind that I didn't want to get accidentally pickaxed by any of the players, because that would put me at a disadvantage, and every amount of health counts when it comes to getting hit by a car, because not all of them will one-hit you. Some will only hit you for maybe 20 damage, and that 20 that you have will help you in the end. At this point, I noticed that there were a lot of people getting onto the reboot van, which is a great idea because it is above the ground and there's no way to break it. However, I knew that Laser Beam was going to try something sneaky to try to get um, players off of there as soon as possible, maybe with a ramp or something. But then I noticed there was a bounty board on another side of the POI, and that's also unbreakable, so I snuck my way in, found a spot comfortably on the bounty board, and awaited their arrival. They all dropped into the battlefield and started obliterating the entire lobby. It did take them long to recognize the people on the reboot van, so they decided to start creating these creative ramps, and ended up killing a bunch of them up there. But it was a little tough to get everyone on the river van, and they didn't even try to get the people on the bounty board, including myself. So that's when Laser Beam decided to do this. When the storm gets here, the reboot and the bounty board. Hey, that's me. Are off limits. Oh. And then the storm closed, and we had to jump off. At that point, I did not know what to do because I was out there in the open. I was a bright white marshmallow just standing out from everyone else. And yikes, Laser Beam got really close to me here. At this point, I thought it would be best if I just played Ring Around the Rosie on the bounty board, and that played out really well for me. Top 10 situation, by the way. Now, the next part you're about to see might look really stupid on my part, but I'll go into detail as to why I lost here, and you'll see why this was a difficult situation for me. Look at this guy hiding behind the board. Oh! <laughs> Look at this guy hiding behind the board. <laughs> Let's break this down real quick. So you can see that in front of me is Fresh's Squad Crasher, which is gunning straight towards me, and he could have easily started just boosting towards me and hitting me. But if you also look at that indicator near the bottom of my screen, you'll see that there was a car coming behind me, and I did notice that. That's why you see me going around the other side of the bounty board to avoid that car from behind me, as well as hope that Fresh misses in front of me. So one thing that maybe I could have gotten away with was just jumping over the bounty board and avoiding both at that moment. But I was afraid that Laserbeam would call me out for cheating because he already clearly stated that the bounty board was off limits. So I didn't really have much of a chance here and the ping didn't play to my advantage because from my side, it looks like I had already gotten around the bounty board and dodged the car. But on their side, unfortunately with the ping, it looked like he hit me straight on. So that's why I died there. I didn't really have too much of a chance, but that's okay. I had a lot of fun. The guy who ended up winning was actually the guy who was standing next to me when we were sitting on the bounty board together. So at least I was on the right track, right? But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I plan to go live again on March 19th. That's a week from today. I'm super excited for that and I hope to see you all there. All right, later y'all.